These babies are not your typical laser pointers. You can pop balloons. <laughs> pop multiple balloons. <laughs> you can strike a match. Ooh. Even cut through electrical tape. And plenty of more things that are completely necessary in everyday life. Just don't let your little kitty no. chase it around or you can go blind in seconds. These are 1500 milliwatt laser pointers and they're coming up next here on Gadget Jeff TV. Gadget Jeff. TV. Hello again YouTube and welcome back to Gadget Jeff TV where I, Jeff, bring you a cool new gadget every week. Some are illegal, some are not, some are dangerous, but some are not. Today's review is more along the lines of dangerous, I would have to say. So most people today have heard about little laser pointers that you can chase around the room for your cat. Well I have to say that laser diode technology has really progressed over the years. They have gotten brighter, cheaper, and most importantly, more powerful. The majority of handheld laser pointers are rated in milliwatts of power. The average little laser pointer being around 5 milliwatts or less. Or class 1 on the laser classification system. Well not these babies, these things are monsters. Rated at over 1.5 watts, that's 1500 milliwatts. This puts them into the laser classification system of class 4, which is the most dangerous. The laser classification system is basically a scale from 1 to 4 to rate the overall safety of different laser pointers or lasers in general. These guys are no joke, real life lightsabers. Both made of solid aluminum, both have internal and external heat sinks, both have the ability to focus the beams, and both come with rechargeable batteries and even a nifty little carrying case so you can beam your way to happiness for years to come. Now what I really like about these is you can actually see the beam. These guys can even reach distances as far away as 6 miles weather permitting. Now fog and humidity must be taken into account because they do interfere with the reach of the laser. I actually confirmed this one night when I first got my laser pointer about four months ago. I went up with a friend to a nearby beach we have here in Seattle called Alki. Then I beamed it across the water which was about 5.24 miles away to where my friend was waiting and he said he saw it as clear as rain. Now the only thing I stress when operating these is you must wear approved safety goggles. Or you could cause severe eye damage within a split second of exposure. You only got two balls of eyes so you probably should take some precautions. Even a millisecond flash off a reflective surface like a white wall will cause eye damage. So if you do decide to get these, man up and buy the goggles. They are kind of masculine. Now class 4 lasers will also burn your skin so never point them at yourself or anybody else that goes without saying. Actually I was even debating buying these things because it's kind of like owning a gun. You kind of have to be responsible. Plus when you wear the safety goggles as you should it completely blocks all visibility of the beam which is kind of the cool part about it. Now the manufacturer states you can look at the beam from the side without the goggles and it's okay but why risk it in my opinion. And to tell you the truth you can buy a cheap laser pointer a 5 milliwatt one at a pet store or something and on a foggy night you could see the beam. Now as you are probably aware it's unfortunate but almost everything comes from China and these laser pointers are no exception. Now there's tons of sellers out there on eBay online that claim high power but that actually do not deliver the output power claim. Some will say the laser is like 750 milliwatts when actually it's only 200, 300 milliwatts. So how do you know you're actually getting the power claim? Say hello to the laser power meter or LPN as the hobbyists say. Now these guys run about $200 for the cheapo version. This is the Laser BA which is kind of the entry level laser power meter. But they get the job done and they'll accurately read lasers up to 2 watts in power or 2000 milliwatts. Now it works by using a highly sensitive little sensor called a thermopile. Now this thermopile is is very sensitive to heat even if I blow on it you can see it's going up because I'm on fire so after I received my laser pointer that the seller told me was 1.5 watts I wanted to prove it to myself so I bought the laser power meter so I put on some latex gloves and made this awesome video of me testing my laser so for this video I set my laser power meter on my dad's workbench which looks so badass I might mention with the rusty steel effect it has been developing over the years then you turn the laser on and shine it into the thermophile and you'll see it accurately starts to read the amount of energy coming from the laser that then sends that data to the little device which then converts it into an easy to read number. Now again I would say this thing is more like a weapon than a cool toy or gadget. I actually was like man you could carry this around and blind someone if they were trying to jack you. Now look at that not only did it reach 1500 milliwatts but it exceeded it. Now you were probably wondering what's the difference between this small little one and this big little one if they're both 1500 milliwatts. Now the main difference is the quality, the price, and the safety features. Now this first one was my little cheapo I got. I picked this up for about 90 bucks on 
on eBay. Uh, the seller didn't claim it was a 1.5 watt because eBay doesn't allow high powered lasers like that, but I just took the risk, spent the money, and yeah, it was 1.6 watt, as you saw. This guy uses two little Ultra Fire 3.7 volt 1200 milliamp batteries. You get about 10 minutes of continuous use with it. The other thing about this laser is it doesn't really keep a pinpoint dot after about 50 feet. At 50 feet, it's about a one and a half foot dot. It really dispenses or disperses a lot, which a lot of laser hobby is considered to be kind of cheap. But as you saw at the beginning, it does do pretty much all you need it to do. Pop balloons, cut tape, start matches, blind yourself. I mean, happiness. Now, this other model I got from jetlasers.org. Um, this one's really nice. It was a little bit more expensive, cost me about 350 bucks but uh, the build quality and the features are amazing. First off, there's a safety key that you have to have to turn the unit on or off. There's also this little safety screw and cap at the other end. And you have the ability to focus the beam by turning this little dial. It has red little battery indicator lights on it. Gets about 25 minutes of use and uses two 3.7 volt 3000 milliamp batteries. And lastly, the overall beam quality is a lot more precision. It doesn't disperse like the other one does that I was mentioning. Now again, I would say these things are more like weapons than they are cool gadgets or toys. So if you are thinking about getting one, be responsible and be careful. Wear your glasses, don't point them at anyone. Don't be drinking and taking beer bongs and giving them to your friends to shine back in their faces because that just would be no go. And there's so many nice things to look at in life like pussy, mama. Oh god, he's just so handsome! And that reminds me, I never introduced my cat. His name is Schmish, or Schmishmosh, and sometimes even Schmishanatta. Well guys, that's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed yourselves, maybe learned something. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the little subscribe pillow anytime you feel up to it. More upcoming amazing gadgets to come. As always, I'll put links in the description below of whatever I talked about today. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and I'll respond within about 48 hours or less. I hope you all have a beautiful week and I'll check you later. Bye-bye.